All right, man, let's get to it. Let's go. Um, I'm going to hit you again with the win total. So uh, over under, Brad, uh, it's Arizona five and a half wins. Uh, you know what? I It's not that I don't think that they can't win more than five and a half. I just am going to take into account that the NFC is so competitive that I'm going to have to, I got to start giving some teams an under and I'm going to have to give them an under just based on that fact alone. Yeah, I think that's, um, I think that's worthy. And so like uh, Kyler Murray in the, um, in the first game, like I think, what was he? Six for seven, seven to seven, you know, like there was already buzz about how good he played and everything. Here's what my concern is about him. And we talked about this, Brad, coming in the season is look, he looked good. He has an arm. Dude, he has an arm. Okay. Um, uh-huh. he has an NFL arm. I don't, there's no question in my, my mind about that. But when you're five, nine and a half, there's a legitimate concern about whether you can stay in the pocket and throw over a six, seven, you know, defensive end, you know, on a stunt coming up, coming up the middle or and things like that. Right. You need to be able to throw over the offensive line and see what's going on in front of you. And what I mean, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. What Arizona was doing this week um, in preseason was they were kind of moving the pocket. And so they were doing like a bunch of like kind of sprint right, throw to the sideline, sprint left, throw to the sideline kind of thing. And and look, he has the arm to make it happen. He has the arm to throw a seam route. But can does he have the vision to throw it? And that's what I want to see. And that's what I'm most concerned about. And I think this offense is going to be a quick hit offense. Um, they're going to go four wide, sometimes five wide. Um, you know, David Johnson, I think, is going to be, you know, I, I'm a little bit higher on him um, than traditionally I have been. And, and, you know, my first publication of the uh, Almanac, I'm a little bit higher on him now because I think he'll be, you know, really good in PPR leagues because I think he'll get like 80 catches. But I'm just worried, man. I'm worried about um, Kyla Murray, not from an injury point of view like I am with um, Lamar Jackson. I'm worried about him just being able to be tall enough to see and throw. Um, well, and we got you know, see Sean, I, I agree also. And there there is a reason why you prefer quarterbacks to be 6'4". You know, that's not an accident. Mm-hmm. And it's not that outliers can't exist because Doug Flutie had a, a pretty good time, right? Yeah, and, I think Drew Brees is like 5'10 and a half. So it's only, yeah, an, you know, it's only an inch, so it can work. But I got to see it work. But in sports, only an inch, it matters, right? It's mm-hmm. like, well, you know... It's only a tenth of a second, but that's the difference between hitting the hole and not hitting the hole, mm-hmm, right? So, mm-hmm. and, and you know, Michael Vick, I don't think he was much over six foot, was he? No, you I know, don't think I, so. I think he was like six on the dot, if I'm not mistaken. So outliers can exist, and Russell Wilson can't be more than 5'10", but I think, right. you know, and, and not to plagiarize, um, but Cowherd was saying that Russell Wilson, yeah, isn't much taller than, than Kyler Murray, but he's like 25 pounds bigger. And that that makes a difference. Mm-hmm. And so um, to Coward's usual point is, you know, it, Wilson never gets hit. So and he never gets hit, and not everybody has that talent. Actually, yeah. Wilson's the only guy I've ever seen with that ability. Yeah, I know. It seems like such a natural instinct these guys would have, but apparently they don't. Like Wilson just always gets out of the way. He lathers himself <laughs> up in baby oil. So, I know he's fantastic. God, Can never I love get him. Guy. He's so slippery. He's like basically a uh, a KY jelly. Wrestling his match brand, yeah, his brand field. of football is just so it's so slick, man. Yeah. If 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 the Packers didn't have Aaron, that would be the guy I'd want. Yeah, I hear you. But hear but you. getting off subject, so yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's you can't really be a little guy out there and have a whole lot of fun, can you? Nah, man. I think it's so. Look, I think I think Arizona has capacity to win six, but you make a good point. We had to start going on the under in some of these <laughs> some of these people. Right. You know, like there's 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 only so many. Uh, with I think there's 156 games, so it's 156 W's out there, and I think we've given away about 170 so far in these previews. But <laughs> <laughs> I know, but um, no, like I, I think um, I th- look. Five and a half, that's a tough one for me. I think that they can be a six and ten team. I do. Um, but, you know, it's nothing I would bet on. I think I would take the over here um, just if you're pressed into having me take something because, you know. You're going to take the over. <sighs> Gosh, yeah. Just because of the division they play in, I am going to go under. But you can see how conflicted I am about it. I do think yeah, that yeah, this. I think well. this roster is a six and ten type roster, and I think their offense is going to be better um, than people think. I, w- I just mentioned Murray. I think he has the potential to be a top top twelve, maybe even a top ten fantasy quarterback if he can stay healthy and if he uses his legs, which I think he can. David Johnson, like I said, I was a little bit down on him. 
Um, I still don't love him in standard formats. In a PPR format, I like him quite a bit, though. Um, so I have moved him up in my rankings updates. Once again, if you have purchased a fantasy football almanac available on Amazon.com, um, email me. There's a promo code in there, um, and you get the free updates. So you definitely want to get your hands on some of this stuff. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald and Christian Kirk, I think, are going to have fantastic seasons because I think Arizona is going to be throwing the ball. And because we think that they're more like a six, five, six, seven. Um, well, maybe five or six win team. They're going to be behind a lot. So they're going to be throwing. I think Larry Fitzgerald and Christian Kirk have fantastic seasons. I'm curious about Andy Isabella, Hakeem Butler, the rookies there. I'm not high on Ricky Seals-Jones, the tight end there. I just don't think he's going to be used that much, although he did get a catch, I think, this uh, this week in preseason. Now, listen, I gave them the under, not because I think they're a dumpster fire, but right. because I think it's just— It's, it's a tough division, man. Yeah, it's a tough division. So a lot the, of the, it, the odds are not in their favor, obviously. <laughs> 